remember seeing it probably on a video or whatever. Fuck off! But there's no need for it. The immersion of Resident Evil 1. And they did it pretty well. This is my favourite over Resident Evil 2. 2, uh, I don't like it that much. I would have rather 2.5. I looked at that and I liked it. So Resident Evil 2 put me off Resident Evil 2 just before it came out because I had a magazine and it showed me pictures of Resident Evil 2.5, which was going to be 2, but then they fucked it off and then they made 2. So that ruined it for me. I was hoping to play Resident Evil 2.5 when it was 2, but no. And then I read later on that that guy said it was too much like Resident Evil 1, so he wanted to change it all. Resident Evil 2 was okay, but I probably would have liked 2.5 better than 2. Anyway, I'm just going to run past these for now, so I don't end up killing myself over fucking about with rats. Dog rat things. Dogs. Cunt things. More dribbling on. I have to dribble on, really. Because I dribbled on so much in the last part, I fucking uh, just need to. Come here, bitch. Actually, fuck this. Actually, you have that. Yeah. Eat that. Uh, combine that. Equip that and just shoot. Just kill. Seven shots. Kill him. Fuck him. Come here, bitch. Fuck him. Come here, bitch. There you go. I'll kill your friend too, shall I? Two herbs there. Blues, aren't they? Hey, you got no more luck, huh? Fuck it. Run. Run away. Kill two of you, bitches. Ha. <sighs> Resident Evil has declined so far down the toilet. But it's not in the toilet yet. Resident Evil 4 was good. Resident Evil 5 looks like the exact same fucking thing, so. Exact same thing, but waxier. Waxier and waxier and just. Yeah. I do think that Resident Evil 4. The one before, the fucking beta, whatever it was, had more potential than that one. It looked darker, which made it better. Everything's too fucking bright now. Look at it, this is, this even dark, this section is dark. Resident Evil 5 looks like fucking flashlights everywhere, fucking weed growing lights everywhere. Everything's shiny, fucking waxed up, buffed to shit. Resident Evil is supposed to be a darkish game when it's all waxy and bright. Why? Fuck it, let's go. We're just gonna get to a little outhouse here. And then we're gonna save. Three dogs here, I don't remember being free, do I? I think there's two before. I don't know why it's free now. Maybe I'll set it on hard. If there was a hard difficulty, I might have set it on. Since I was drunk, I probably did. But let's carry on. Push the gargoyle. Hello, gargoyle. What's up? You happy? Red feels happy. He likes me. Well, uh, I think, yeah, this is the save room, this one right next to me. That red thing's the snooker hole, the snooker hole with the spiders. Come on, Chris. Oh, you're right, lined up, good. Camera angle looks a bit dodgy, but it's fine. Go, Chris, push. Uh, could it squeeze through that crack where, seeing as you can't go right there, you're pretty fucked, so <laughs> fuck it, let's go. In the save room. If a little thing comes and lashes you, it's not gonna fuck you, so. It's all good. We got first aid spray. Did I use any of them? Probably. Ink ribbon? No. I know where there's an ink ribbon. It's in the fucking spider room, isn't it? Any spaces? Yeah. Let's go get an ink ribbon. And I will finish this game today. I have my bottle of wine. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not that drunk yet, but... I thought that since I did the other two pretty pissed, I might as well do this one too. This could be the drunken Redfield play, but let's carry on.
I'll try and be in more control of what I was last time, but I think me being pissed made it a bit more entertaining. Fuck. It made it entertaining for me at least. And, uh, pissed out of my fucking mind. Ah, there you are, that little black blob. What's up, spider? Should I knife the spider? You wanna be knifey spider? <laughs> I don't have my knife, that fuck you. Know. Hey, you bitch, don't nibble me. Hey, what the hell are you doing, Chris? Come on, then. Knife it. Knife. Hey, you. I'm gonna die on I fuck this. Go on, then, Chris. Grab that. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm not that drunk. I'm not as drunk as I'm. I'm just in a laughing mood right now. I feel like fucking giggling. Giggle. Look. I wasn't that neat. <laughs> I was pretty fucking shit with it. There's still enough room for the tentacle to go through. But I've got some pistol bullets, so I'm gonna stick on my pistol. I don't really think much of this shotgun. Oh, okay. I didn't want that anyway. I wanted the pistol. Uh, can it do that? Yeah, I think it. Yeah, good. We're gonna stick the shit gun away. And we're gonna get our operetta. Yeah. We got a Beretta. I did like Code Veronica. I think that was a step up. Resident Evil, four. Step up, five. Haven't played it. Looking at it, I'm not going to. Step down, if I could say one. It's either middle ground or step down. Hmm. Grab our first aid spray and never mind. I'm gonna save it. Another cheap little bed there. Stick this in. And save. Yep. Oh, that's no, the wrong one, isn't it? Yeah. Use memory card number two. Alright, <laughs> you know what I'd probably have done, and which I wanted to do, was if I made multiple saves, I probably would have went back to my one after part A and redid it, because part B, I just didn't like it. I was just talking too much, and I was just, uh, I watched a little bit of it, I didn't like, ah, uh, fuck it. Too late now, I'm decided. I'm gonna just say fuck it and just dump the whole thing up. Because I don't want to do it again. It's been four months or so, I would do it again. But I'd do it as Jill, I'd just play Jill, I wouldn't fuck about with Chris. That door's locked if I remember right, I'm just gonna get through here. Come on then Chris, onward. It's interesting how he has that. Get on the camera Chris, that knife, see it? But he doesn't pull the knife like Leon does in 4. The knife in 4 was pretty good. The knife in Code Veronica was good too. I never did Code Veronica on my first try. My first try was on the Dreamcast. And I fucked myself pretty bad on it. I fucked myself because I gave all the weapons to Rebecca. Then she got locked in that room with Steve and Chris had fucking nothing to do the boss with. I was sitting there knifing the boss and I couldn't get it killed. And then when I played it again a few a few years later on the PlayStation 2, I had too much ammo because I was sitting there worrying that I wouldn't have enough ammo. So I was just using the knife all the time. Lots of times. Just using the knife. And this is just one of them shit puzzles, isn't it? One of these shit ones where you need to light them all up. Not easy. It's easy if you know what the fuck you're doing. I don't really have much of a clue. You just need a bit of brains. I have them, but I'm not really using them at the moment. I think that might be it, yep. Dot, dot, dot. You sold a puzzle. There's a number of ways to do that. Like, have the top three and the middle one unlit. Click it in the middle. 
or not the middle, top middle, like that, by the, the corner there. And I remember from a video, over the guns video, that you can't fucking mix them with Chris. Yeah, might as well get that out too. Get the paranoia out, fucking, because I've been worried. There's not really much worry. I'm not drunk enough, really, but might as well force it out. Just the over the gun part of how I didn't want people comparing my videos to him. Although, I might as well get this out too, of how I started doing these videos. The main reason was Tomb Raider 1. You probably don't want to hear this shit, you little Z Rosie. Well, fuck it, I'll give you a minute of bollocks. I've started playing these things to finish games. And because I wanted to get all the games out of my head.